Hey folks, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can very easily lay down drums uh, using my producer template in Pro Tools. So I have my sounds already loaded up. So as soon as you open the template, this is what you'll see, everything's empty. These don't come with the sounds that I'm playing, you have to upload your own. Right now the grid is in uh, 16th. Uh, the snap to grid is follow, so basically it'll follow the size of the grid. Otherwise you can adjust it. Let's say you want a half note. It'll look like that. And then I got my click track on. Move up to the hi hat. We'll drop the hi hat to eighth. Now, to add a little roll, you can just adjust the grid. This is where the snap to grid comes in handy. You just follow the grid. If you want to throw some triplets in there, you just add a triplet like this. And if you see it, then the 16th is now a triplet. Uh, a triplet. Uh, I like to go down to 164th and get that, that little extra. We'll just keep it moving. I just want to keep it simple so you can see the workflow. Let's go down to the bass. We'll make this a little larger. We'll go to fourth or quarter notes. So you see how the notes, the more you stretch them out, the more the more sound you get so if you have those long drawn out notes um, snares that have echo you know some type of reverb or delay to them otherwise you can shorten them up and just cut off the tail that way so what I'll do now is change these notes to clips there's probably a shortcut on how to toggle this menu, I just don't know it, and I haven't taken the time to really re research it. But just for today's purposes, we'll just get it, we'll get through it like this. You highlight them, and then you just drag them down, and it'll render the sound with any effects you have on it. So now all I can do is just mute it in case you ever want to go back and, you know, tweak the pattern a little bit. Or if there's different parts of the song, maybe that you want to switch up your drums. You can just leave the MIDI here. What I did was just deactivate them. You don't have to hide them, but you can without deleting them. Press Control and hit on the track. You see it says hide. You can hide them. And where do they go? They're over here. You see this little arrow? Click on it, and they're right there. So you can bring these in and out. If you want to add claps, any type of perks, I usually run it through the hi-hat channel. Um, but if you prefer to keep things separate, there is another one. So I have a duplicate here for you guys if you need it. Any extra open hats, things like that, you can throw it on this channel. And then as soon as you want to record something, let's just add something so I can show you what I mean. Same thing here, let's say you want to render that. I'll slice this off, pressing B. Shift and click, drag them down. I'll hide and deactivate those channels. So now you have your drum pattern, it's a simple So 
So now these hats are running through this mix bus. So you see hats, perks, bus. All my hats and perks from channels, hats, one through four, and effects will all run through here. Out and in. I would add um, some sidechain to my hats. And then the output of this hat bus goes into a main drum bus. And then I also grouped bass, kick, snare, and clap. So th now these are grouped automatically into a drum bus too. So as you, you now you can submix your kick, your drum, and your snare. You submix your hats. And then you throw them into a, uh, into a main mix together, and then this is where you're going to balance everything out. Um, if you want to add some delay and stuff to your hats, or do anything funky to them there, this would be the time to do it. Then you group everything together. You know, compression is always good, but you don't have to do it. But this is where you would add it if you did want it. Uh, I would keep the gain reduction at minus three, no more than that, because then it would just squish your drums too much. Stock compressor does the job. And, uh, and then that's it, your drums are done. I mean, you can just... See, that took a couple minutes, and, it's, and it sounds clean. I have a limiter right before the loudness meter. If you don't have this limiter, you can just replace it for something else. If you don't have this loudness meter, then just replace it for something else. If you keep it in the same signal flow and you just substitute the plugins, um, you'll be surprised at how good the mix is. Alright guys, 